of these are we gonna do till you realize it's pointless? Well, I don't think it's pointless. That's what I've been trying to prove to you. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said you weren't trying to prove a point. Well, yeah, but I mean, I kind of had to say that so you'd let me work with you and I could make my point. See, this is why we don't hang out anymore, because you're always so defensive. Well, it's kind of hard not to be when you think I'm a bad person now. I never said that. You didn't have to. Rosa, we came up together. We went to the academy together. We've had the exact same career. All we ever wanted was to be detectives. And yes, we've always known there were problems, but we would solve them together from the inside. So when you quit, yeah, it made me feel like you thought I was wrong for staying. Jake, my choice has nothing to do with you. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. I gave up my career, my friends, my whole life, but I did it because I couldn't ignore what I was a part of anymore. Couldn't ignore what the police are doing in my community to people who look like me. I know, but not all of them, not me. This isn't about you. And this case where a black woman was assaulted by the police has nothing to do with you either. So if you're not here to help, if you're just here to prove a point, then man, I don't think we should work together anymore. And I definitely don't think we're friends. Scully. I need your help, but you can't tell anybody what I'm up to. Oh, not a problem. I don't talk to anyone but Hitchcock. And nobody where I am even speaks English. Where are you? Brazil, baby. I got conned by a cam girl, but it turns out I love it here. Okay, look, you two are always complaining about work regulations, so I'm guessing you know your way around the patrolman's union. I need your help to break in. You bet. Those bastards are everything that's wrong with policing. Their dress policy's insane. You have to wear a shirt at all times. Yuck. Just tell me how I can get to O'Sullivan's office undetected. No problem. He goes to lunch at 12.30, so that's your window. At 12.45, the mail is delivered. The guard at the desk always flirts with the mailwoman, so he'll be distracted. Then go down the main hall. This is important. It's your last bathroom stop on the whole floor. It's unisex and handicapped, so you get that bad boy all to yourself. Don't worry about the toilet paper. Stop talking about bathrooms. Fine. Pee your pants. What do I care? Go to the last office on the right, and you're there. Well, that background is on brand. Yeah, Ma! I got the tickets! What do you think? Front row, Ma! Billy Joel, you, me, and the poet of Long Island. Huh?